So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. I basically do trading guides for both Xbox and PlayStation for all budgets from silver trading to icon trading with shadow trading and special card trading. On top of that, I do investments for weekend league, pre-team of the week and event investing. And you do have the ability to DM me one on one with any individual questions and you can get all this for £4.99 a month or free if you have Amazon Prime. And welcome to episode 10 of Trade, I oh know, episode 11 of Trade and Upgrade. So, we came off the back of, I think, my fourth loss in a row. We've had a bit of a mare as of recently. We are trying to learn a different sort of play style, so I guess I'll, I'll use that as an excuse. Or just Division 4 is maybe where we're, uh, my ability is at. Team's looking like this, and as a result, losing yesterday, we had 100k in upgrades. We thought, let's go do a hero SBC. Yeah, we got Algebra. Uh, the sad thing about Algebra is I don't even know if I'd use him as a sub again. I, I feel like a a very tired Davo Suka or a very tired Robbie Keane would still be better than an Algebra. I don't know. Maybe one of my players gets heavily injured or decapitated or something. Uh, to the point where I'm like, well, a headless Larson is probably worse than Algebra. But... That's how it was yesterday, so today we'll hopefully do a few hours of trading and a few games rather than these short episodes. So, without further ado, let's go and jump into a weird. We're actually doing some special card trading. How special shadow card trading works is basically I'm trying to buy gold card, sorry, special cards with shadow for the same price they are without a shadow. Or, if they're over 20k, I'm trying to get in 10% cheaper and with a shadow. Now you have to be patient with me because my, my market knowledge is not the best with this, so... How you set this filter up, you just go 9.9k minimum buy now. It doesn't matter what the maximum buy now is. And then you have the highest maximum bid without there being more than one card over the hour. So let's have a little look at what that is going to be. Is that going to be 10.5k? Looks like it's going to be 10.5. Okay, so we need to increase the minimum buy now to actually 10.250, so then none of them pop up. I think it's going to be 10.5 if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it is brilliant. So what we're going to do now is we're going to press compare price back out. And then any player who is the same price as they are without a shadow, if they're under 20k, we're going to buy. And any player that's over 20k, again, would look 10% cheaper and with a shadow. So without further ado, let's go do this method and show you guys the deals we managed to get. To quote deals instantly. I actually completely forgot they re-released these in form. So I saw that Firmino for 33 and I was like, that's a banging buy. Obviously, Firmino is like 70, 80. I only to forget they've re-released him. Managed to get a Claude's and a Firmino. So let's have a little look at how much they're going for. Now, Firmino is... I've gone for the same price as he is basic, but I've got him in sentiment with a shadow. So, let's see how well that's going to work in my poor favor. Yeah, just under 35. Not really... To be honest, this is going to be break-even. And Claude's who we picked up for 22. Um, should be actually pretty decent because... As I said, I don't really have too much market knowledge on this. But you're not going to go and snap that one up as well. Um, I think we can go in and sell them for about 25.5. Part of why I snapped that one up right there. Let's have a little look. Yeah, no, she get maybe just under, maybe about 26k per. Just sub 26. We're going to get 25.750. So not too bad on the first few deals. For me, no break even. And then the two claws are probably making like 2, 3k a card, which isn't too bad. Pretty rubbish second set of deals, but that re that's really just what happens when you learn in the market. Like Ming's only sells for 14.750. Endor Baller already sells for 21, 50, uh, 22 50, so massive break even. Zagbo, literally break even if not lost, and a Marvi 26. So even though we got ourselves six deals, I'm literally breaking even on all of them. But again, when you're learning the market, you've got to learn via trial and error. You just got to be very patient. So we got a, a mixed bunch for the second, so let's go and show you guys what we got. Starting off here with Big Zach, uh, he's only going to go 17, 750, so a bit of a loss on him. Romero is already going to go for 13750 so a loss on him, a uh, loss on him, and a little bit of a profit on him. So he probably makes up for the losses. James is weren't too bad, 19.5k sell on him, so a K profit right there. Uh, probably about a K profit, just minus the tax and all that malarkey. Uh, Upa Trooper going to go for 54k, so a very small profit on that, I think at least a K. Gunner is going for 14, so another K on that. GVA is going up for 11750 so a little bit of loss on tax. Diop's not bad. Uh, he's going to go for 36.750, so 4k difference before tax. Uh, and yeah, I'd say it's, it's very much a mixed bag again. I haven't done the special card training for ages, so first 12 minutes, we're still learning a lot of the market. Okay, training, we've got some, ourselves some decent, decent deals, uh, if I can go and show you right now. Basically, two rule breaker cards popped up, both for discard. So we've got a Kappa for 1050, and we've got a Cigar for 1050. 1050. Uh, not bad on the Kappa. Going to go and sell him on for 14.750, which means a nice little... 
I mean, just under 4k profit. And Sungare, we're going to go for 12,250, so a k and a bit. Oh, it's got yet another Claws. Sold on Claws really, really easily earlier for... Was it? 25,750, I think it was. So, uh, yeah, really this method is the more, you know, the more you trade with them, the more prices you're remembering, and the more prices you're remembering, the more coins you're making, but not too bad whatsoever. So, uh, basically, the later I get into this hour, the, the faster I'll be making coins. So, we got ourselves a lot of deals, a few really nice deals using that market knowledge I gained from selling them earlier. So, let's go through the players then. So, Navas going to go sell for 24750 not bad for me, knows a decent one, going to sell for 35750 learned his price earlier. Zuma Boomer going to go and sell for 14,250. Nothing great. Diawara goes up for 12. And Balium goes up for 13. So some naff deals, but really nice deal there on Firmino. And, uh, and yeah, on to the next set of deals. He flipped on today, so uh, we've got a good bit of market knowledge as I look for the prices. So we've got Cap, we're going to sell for 14,750. With Cap, we're going to sell for 14,750. And Cap, we're going to sell for 14,750. We've got Zaga, we're going to sell for 12,750. Another one, 12750. Bellin going to go up for 13. Uh, Diawara going to go for 12. Uh, Chilwell, we don't actually have data from Chilwell, but the rest of them we sold. Sangara, 12750. So, decent bit of profit there. Probably another like 15 odd K, I'd say. Bills. We got ourselves Akuna at 22, going to sell at 26. Alba at 17. He's going to go up for 24 or 23. And Fabian going to go up for 13250. So, nice deal to be ending off the special card trading. Definitely see it's been picking up the longer we've been doing it because the more of the market we've been learning. Our last two deals to end off the, uh, I guess, the hour of special card trading. It's not been too bad, but I haven't done special card trading for ages, but it's at the same time not been overly amazing. We're going to be sell out here for 14 to 50, turning over a K profit right there. I'm Linkovich Savage. We're going to be sell for 23, um, turning over probably about 2.5. So overall, about 55K profit. Um, not too bad. Uh, we'll go jump to a game and see if we get to keep the 55k. Here we go, Ski. We are playing against a... Ooh, a little Lee Gun and a little, ooh, little French Lee Gun number. Very, very nice. There we go, 55k on the line. So that's going to go. Oh, hello. Are you ready? Here we go, chat. Here we go. Here comes the tits. I see how he deals. Ooh, not a bad, eh? Little tic tac, little flip flap the last guy as well. Oh, not a bad start of the game, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. Look for the parsnips. How has he missed that then? How can he be that close to the goal? I'd be fuming. I'd be short back and fuming, I would. There we go. My mind does not work fast enough. And, oh my god. See that hand. Oh, he's a god. He's a god. He's an actual god. He's an actual god. Oh, no. Dude, I didn't even see Dude running. I'm not going to lie. I think I just like. Must have told him to do that, but. <laughs> Come on. You're not doing that. Stop being silly. He's <laughs> so bad. Uh, give him the ball again. There we go. Ooh, thread the needle. Woo! Ole! Not bad, eh? Not bad, it's your goalkeeper, mate. He completely forgot his must. Do you know he must have? He must have a very. He must be a religious man because he has holy gloves. Okay. There's no way. There's no way he's not playing with a Guitar Hero controller. He needs to control his shooting. Like he's Oscar. Oh, oh hello. There we go. Pass nipped. Is he going to make it to the second half? That's the question. Is Baggio going to make him cry? Why? Maybe he could have passed that back around again. Oh, I thought he was going to make such a bait pop. Go on. Oh, that is, I'd say, I've seen some, I've seen some Bitcoin scams in my time, but that right there, that has got to be one of the worst scams I've seen. You see that pass back in the middle? Oh, God, we gave him the inside. Okay. Dudek again, Dudek again. Oh, my God, give this man a Nobel Peace Prize because he has invented not conceding a goal. Oh, ah. 
There's nothing he could have done about that. That was the incompetence of the defense, okay? Do you know what? He, he he was just into he knew he had to pull something big out of the bag to get it past U deck. So he just over. He overdid it. Like that was a foul, but it's okay. Yahoo! Not bad at all, chat. Not bad. I tell you, a little pass and play. Get this guy on the ball, Robbie Keane. He bangs one into the back of the net. Game one, boys. Game one. Game set and match. That was quite fun. Bit tip talk. Bit tips at passing. <laughs> but there we go. 55k in the bank. Let's go see if there's anyone we can upgrade. Now is, believe it or not, an hour of shadow trading. Honestly, this method is just so good. Like, there's there's no reason to never include it in every episode because it's an easy 100k upgrade, and I could really be doing with a 100k upgrade. So. Let's go get the old shadow trading going. So, 24 minutes in, 41 deals, not bad. Let's go price check them and see how much money we've made. So, with eight minutes to go, we managed to pick ourselves up a, another 44, 45 deals. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Uh, I think some decent highlights there. Dignet, 4 7. Allen at 2 5, so that was about 3 4 ish. Davies, 5, should be a sell for around about 7 odd. Um. Kamavinga, Shibu, 4-5. Zoko's not bad. About 4k on that. Um, and yeah, that's that. We'll uh, get these listed up and then move on to the next one. This is generally going to be one of the roughest shadow trading I've had in a while. Because I'm probably only going to make as much as I did from special card trading. Uh, it's been madly competitive. Um, madly, madly competitive. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. What is get this stuff sold on. See if we manage to hit like 50-odd k. I mean, 110k, you know, upgrade for the team would definitely do pretty well in the market crash we've had. So... Yeah, let's go get it sold on and see how many coins we managed to make. One upgrade we're actually going to be going for, and it's not really an upgrade because I literally just sold a quarter at 134, so now only going to buy coal at 135. So I probably won't take any coins off because there literally is no difference. But I thought it might as well change uh, out a quarter for coal now that coal has got so cheap as of recently. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is we are going to change that again. It's not really an upgrade, it's more just a bit of variety to the team. Uh, we've also got ourselves, well, we made 55k in that shadow trading, which gives us 110, so... I'm not too sure what I want to upgrade with 110. We could go... I mean, I could upgrade the left mid, but I don't think there's much other than Overmars Perez. Could upgrade Keen into... I don't know, maybe like a cost or a Hadji. Like, I can't really get that much of that's defense. Maybe like Skulls or something. So, not too sure where the upgrade is with 110. But yeah, we are going to go and change out uh, our Aquatcha for Colin. Again, it's the same price. We just want a bit more variety and just change the team up a bit. Ooh oh, that's probably the best team I've played against. No! The ping pong was on! We're on for the ping We had literally double sets. 9 and 0. One point to win. Oh. Nice, Dudek! You god! Don't worry, my own team's going to pass it away from you, though. <laughs> I bloody love ping pong passing, man. I love ping pong passing so much, man. It's the sickest thing in this game, man. It's literally the most fun. It's the most fun way to play this game is just ping pong passing, boys. Most fun in this game. Trust me. If you don't like gameplay, do ping pong passing. Here we go. Converting. Oh, great pass. But no, the chat, there were no passes whatsoever, okay? Sometimes your team isn't with it, okay? And right there, the... I mean, good finish off him, but here we go. Right there. Yahoo! Baggio with a little bit of skill to evade Kimpembe. Yahoo! That was really poor of me, but... Luckily, Dudek's a god, boys. Dudek is a god. I know something you don't know, Dudek. Dudek. Ah, uh, bait. Hi, hi, hi. We're just kicking it into him, Dan. 
Don't give him the inside. Don't give him the. Ooh. <gasps> what the hell? What the hell? Who does that? Brett, who does that? What the audacity to hit that first time? Ah. Oh. Come on, lads. Yahoo! Nice bit of skill there with Davosuka. You weren't meant to do that. Oh, you can't see. Get that one out, man. On the wing. Not bad. So I'm quite happy with my defending, man. I'm not going to lie. Has he done that with Ronaldo, you idiot? Pass in the middle. Oh, he's so bad. He's so bad. How is he? He's so bad. Oh, my God. He wanted to go... Bro, this guy can't... How can this guy be so bad at finishing with Ronaldo? I've never seen someone so bad at finishing with Ronaldo. Can't do that! Naughty, naughty! Chill it, magic? No, no, no. It's just secure the game. Oh, he's going right. Could you read left to right? So they try and read you left to right. Like, pro player up front. Did he put marijuana for... Who did he put up front? Only passes. 300 passes. We've got to have done 300 passes. Can I say we put it up? I put Chong up front. Okay. 300 passes? 300 passes. Oh. Where is it? 30, 320. Not bad. Not bad. Stats go 320 passes. That's up there with some of those passes I've done in a game. But yeah, 11 shots in there. Not bad. 110 to agree the squad. Let's go.